the lounging monkey saw a caterpillar that turned into a butterfly with a twist. Good afternoon and happy Monday. Your boy Hasayogi is coming at you from the beautiful and healing island of Koh Phangan, Thailand with a 10-minute gentle yin yoga just for you. Please hit subscribe right now and you'll be receiving brand new yin yoga sessions every single day that you can use to make your life better. I'd like to read to you to start our practice from the ancient book of wisdom, the Tao Te Ching. We're just going to spin the pages open and let something land. Tao Te Ching number 69. Listen, and if there's something there for you, take it with you. Take what you need, leave the rest. The generals have a saying. Rather than make the first move, it is better to wait and see. Rather than advance an inch, it is better to retreat a yard. This is called going forward without advancing, pushing back without the use of weapons. There is no greater misfortune than underestimating your enemy. Underestimating your enemy means thinking that he is evil. Thus, you destroy your three treasures and become an enemy yourself. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. And that brings us to our practice because yin yoga is all about yielding to the practice. And in that, we send our legs forward going into a lounging monkey. This is an opening for the chest, a nice deep stretch for the shoulders. Find yourself in the position by placing your hands behind you. Walk them back until you feel a nice deep stretch across the upper torso. You may place your hands directly behind you. They may be close or they may be wide. Listen to your body and settle into some stillness here. Close your eyes and perhaps to combat mobile phone neck, we choose to look up for a little while today. fingertip walking your hands back a little further can you sink a little deeper yielding a little more into the pose if you feel any pain in your elbows try rotating the eye of your elbow in or out and play with it if you can't get out of pain get out of the pose take care of your body and listen to it Fingertip walk just a little bit deeper and let's look down this time, opening up the back of the neck. Let's come out of the posture the same way that we went in, walking our hands up, coming back to a neutral position. Legs are still long in front of us and this is going to be a forward fold. The stretches in the back of the hamstrings, the upper back part of the legs. You may even feel it in the calves or the lower legs. Hands can go down underneath your calves to anchor you in place, or your hands may go on top of your feet. Be mindful you're not pulling too hard or pushing too much. It's yin yoga. There's a little yang in every yin, but not too much. Head hangs heavy. We round our back, feeling a nice bonus stretch in the back and the neck.
fingertip walk your hands further or if they're over your feet grasp just a little bit deeper let your arms hang heavy pulling you into it a little bit more time and gravity are on your side here let them open you naturally Gently releasing the posture by walking your way back up. That was your caterpillar. And now the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Placing the soles of the feet together. Comfortable distance away from the body. You're going to feel an opening in your groin and maybe a bonus in your hamstring. Maybe scoot yourself up a little closer to the front of your mat. And we're going to go ahead and recline into this position. Feeling a nice deep stretch in the inner thigh. Your hands can go down to your side or they can lay on top of your legs to add a gentle pressure. The lounging monkey saw a caterpillar, which turned into a butterfly with a twist. Can you guess what's next? That's right, it's a twist. Gently taking your hands and helping your legs back upright, soles of your feet are on the ground. We're gonna scoot ourselves to the right side of the mat, leaving plenty of space on the left. We're just going to take a gentle twist here by allowing the legs to fold to the left. Left hand goes on top of the right leg, helping it down. You may also choose to place your right arm out long, looking in the direction of your right arm if it's available to you. Your arm may go down by your side just the same. Are you holding any tension anywhere? Can you let it go? Can you yield to the practice? Gently releasing this side, bringing your feet back on the ground. Legs come up. Let's scoot to the left side of our mat, opening up the right space. And we send the opposite, the inverse. Bring your legs down to the right side. Right hand goes on your left leg. And again here, you may send your left arm long, opening up the chest to the shoulder, looking in the direction of the left arm or your left arm may just come down by the side. This is the final pose of our practice today. Can you release all the tension left in the body? Letting go of anything you don't need.
gently unbinding that twist. Bring your legs back to neutral. You can either stay in Shavasana now, sending your legs long and pausing the video. Or you may find yourself in an upright seated position to close the practice. In closing, the final paragraph of the Tao Te Ching number 69. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. How will you yield in your day today? Please like this video. Comment what you liked about it. And most important, share this video with someone you know that needs the healing gift of yin yoga today. I love you all. Namaste.